Good morning, Flip. <laughs> Ready for another day of exploring? I say for this one, we get lost. Lost? Yeah, you know, fly by the seat of our pants. Allow Mother Earth's wind to take us where she wants us to go. Or we can follow my map. Your map? I thought I unplugged that thing. So, according to my map, we are currently approaching the South Pacific Ocean. I have a detailed itinerary, some colored pencils, a three-ring binder, and some index cards. Also, I have some handy wipes and extra hair ties because you can never find those when you need them. I'm also thinking of bringing... Flip, 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 flip. I think that you need to relax. Relax? Yeah, have a little fun. You don't always have to have everything planned out perfectly. I don't. No. Sometimes you just need to allow yourself to go with the flow. You mean your cousin, Flo? No, this has nothing to do with Florenza. And no, she still hasn't called me back. That is rude. I know, right? And I'm not calling her again. If she... Wait, I I'm getting off track. When I say go with the flow, I mean flow like the waves in that ocean thingy out there in the South Pacific. Sometimes you just have to wing it. Ah, wing it! You mean like your cousin Jonah who only has the one wing after that dry cleaning accident and... No! Stop bringing up my cousins! This is not about my extended family. Okay. Listen, just try to be more like me, okay? Be more like... Mosey. Exactly. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Enjoy myself. Be spontaneous, impulsive. Let life tickle you upside the head. Spontaneous, impulsive? Yeah, sometimes you just gotta go for it and jump right in face first, you know? Jump right in. Okay. Wait! Open. Flip! That's not what I'm... Okay, well, that's a bold choice. Not what I meant, but a bold choice. Right behind you, Flipper! Yippee! Oh. Riding through the solar system, our spaceship hit a rock. We crashed down on the nearest planet and waited for a tow truck. It would only take 3,000 years, so we thought we look around and learn about this planet from the creatures that we found. And when they speak, they always sing. So we learn from all the animals how to be an nice under here, but why is the air so thick and bouncy? Yeah, that's not air, Mosey. We're in the water. Look at me swish. <laughs> water? Don't earthlings drink this stuff? Yes, they do. So we're like hanging out in a big beverage? <laughs> no, silly. It's an ocean and way too salty to drink. <laughs> oh. And a lot of the earthlings cannot breathe underwater, so they only swim on top. But under here is a whole new world we never knew existed! Yeah! Look at all those wiggly thingies with the fins! What's up with them? <gasps> Let's say hi! Wait, Flip. What is wrong with you? You can't just swish up on a bunch of strange wiggle fins. You need to be careful. No! I need to relax and have fun, remember? And this is so exciting! Let's play hide and seek. I will go hide in that brown sea grass over there. Uh, I don't think you should do that. I wouldn't go. I'm hiding. <laughs> you have to guess where I am now. Ready or not, here you go. Uh, are you in that seagrass you told me you were going to hide in? Technically, it's called kelp. Are you in the kelp? Yes! You are very good at this game, Mosey. <laughs> hey, 
<laughs> Maybe, but I don't think you've got the hang of it. Oh, I know. I am nowhere near as good at making fun and relaxing as you are, but I am ready to learn. And I am happy to try. I am having an unplanned experience. <laughs> As a wee little flippy, I was always so well organized. I kept my facts and contacts up to a degree that would make a supercomputer surprised. But here, right now, in this beautiful ocean, I'll move any direction I want to. There's a new earth down here for us to explore. Um, let's hope we don't meet any carnivores. It's so big down here. Turn away. Probably just for the halibut. What? I don't understand. Don't worry about it. It was probably just a flu. Oh, oh look. I see a wall of sea creatures approaching from out of the blue. And with the sand in my paws and temperature of the water, how could anyone here not feel new? Oh, look at that group of uh, jelly things floating all the way up to the sky. Oh, wow. You see, Mosey, this place is magical. <laughs> Bit irrational. It's so big down here, it's just a night that I feel like a dream here in the waves tonight. So many creatures I see it's out of sight. I've never felt so loose until the ocean. It's so big down here and the sea floor is bright. I see so much life here, it's like impolite. So let's hope we don't get an insect bite. Oh, I feel so good here in the I'm shedding my outer suckers here. Why is everybody shouting into my cave? Ooh, he was salty. <laughs> See what I did there, Mosey? I made a joke that was funny because there's salt in the water and also that earthquake. Yeah, I get it. Less funny when you explain it. Oh, look, striped swimworms. Let's go say hi to those earthlings. Hey, hey, Flip. I don't know what a swimworm is, but I don't think those are them. Uh, they look more like snakes. Yes, that's right. These are actually sea snakes! Yeah, I have researched them quite a bit. There are over 60 different species of sea snakes on Earth! <laughs> well, are they poisonous? Oh, yes. They can... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Mosey! The sea snake is trying to bite me! Hey, snakes! <laughs> Get away from my friend! Ah! Get away! Please. Don't make me bite you! <laughs> okay. Okay, people or whatever you are, let's all just take a minute here. I'm gonna need you to go ahead and take my foot out of your mouth. This is a foot? Wow! There's a mouth on that blobby thing in the middle of all the snakes! And I'm gonna need you to let go of my other arm. Arms? These sea snakes are your arms? I have a lot of arms. I have a lot of arms, too. You do have a lot of arms. You have six arms, two legs, and an oblong head. By my calculations, you are not a group of sea snakes. You are an octopus. <gasps> I am an octopus. So why did you look like snakes? Why did I look like snakes? Why, I am a mimic octopus. Mimic? So that means you imitate things? I imitate things? Wait, are you just saying what I'm saying back to me? Am I just saying what you're saying? Yes, why are you copying me? Why am I copying you? Yes, you're copying me. <gasps> you're a mimic octopus. I'm a mimic octopus. Well, I guess that's true. You have a point there. Imitation is what I do. I have to do it to survive. Lots of big sea creatures would love to eat an octopus like me, but not if they don't recognize me. Hmm? I'm a master of disguise. Check this out. Roar! I am a lionfish, so look out! Roar! Ooh, burplets! You look just like a fish! Yes, Simba. We are all connected in the great circle of life. Yeah! 
Yes, Hakuna Matata and all that. Oh, I love that movie. Bella the Jellyfish. <laughs> Excellent. I enjoy the jelly. I'm more of a peanut butter guy myself. But wait. Now I'm a flatfish. Oh, do me, do me. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, but I don't know what you are exactly. You don't look like you're from around here. I am Flip, and this is Mosey. We are interstellar adventurers who love fun and relaxing. Yeah. yeah. See, we write a famous travel guide for galactic explorers. Ooh. <laughs> You've probably heard of me. Mm. Mosey, uh, I'm kind of a big deal, like how to eat your way through the asteroid belt. Uh-uh. Uh, no? Mm -hmm. um, well, the 10 best cruise stops on Neptune. Huh? Uh, um, uh, uh, the frugal time traveler. No. Nothing? Mm-mm. You've probably heard of me, Mosey. I'm kind of a big deal. Uh, that is amazing. Yeah, this is so much fun. Whatever. Seemed a little forced, if you ask me. And she didn't get my beak right. But Mosey, what a marvelous Earthling this mimic octopus is. She is perfect for our travel guide. She can be anything she wants to be. Well, I don't change shapes because I want to. I change shapes because I have to. See, way, way back in ancient times, when octopuses crawled through the slimes, we found it so hard to catch our prey that Mother Nature blessed us with another way. See, our bodies are like insane shape-shifting Play-Doh. We can change their color, shape, make it look like a potato, a tornado, a rhino. Well, maybe not a rhino, but you get the idea, though. We can change shapes so we can stalk our prey. Hey, it's not a choice. We're just made that way. Because we can't eat if we don't get meat. And mimicking things lets us be discreet. See, I don't want to, per se. I do it because I have to. OK? Sing it with me now. It's in my nature. Octopuses change from shape to shape, confusing everything in range. It's cause you don't exactly see a shell on me. So tell me, what protects me from the open sea? Camouflage. It's a spy versus spy game. And when a predator comes inside chomp range, I confuse him, turning into a rock. He's shocked. There was just an octopus. What magic box did she unlock? Camouflaging is the ultimate disguise. It's my protection from predatory eyes. I may not want to, but I have to. It's the way that my species could adapt to an ocean where, like, anything could just come grab you. Camouflaging lets an octopus just pass through. I don't want to. Do you understand? But I have to. It's not a choice. Are you understanding? I don't want to. I just have to. I don't want to. I just have to. I don't want to. I don't And if you don't know, now you know. Wow! I never thought about it like that before. I know, Mosey! This is just like me! I wanted to be like you, and so, like the octopus, I imitated you, and now I too am fun and relaxed and... Oh, oh look! Flip, wait! Where are you going? What is that? Flip! Come back here! Flip! That looks pretty. Flip! Get away from that! Sharp! Pointy! Oh my god, that's the hermit crab's house! Come here, little one! Flip Flip! Get over here! Leave that alone! Look! <gasps> Mosey! A jellyfish! A jellyfish! I love the jelly! Let's eat! Are you supposed to eat jellyfish, Flip? I don't think so! They are very... squirmy! Actually, it's me again. Not really a jellyfish. Could you let me out of your face hole now? Flip! What are you doing? You can't just go around shoving strange earthlings into your face hole. You should always ask first. But I have lightened up now, Mosey. I am going with the flow! That's not what that means. You know, some jellyfish sting. That's why I like to look like one. If I'd actually been a real jellyfish, you'd be in a lot of pain. And I would have a lot less saliva on me right now. <laughs> 
You look like a jellyfish because jellyfish are dangerous? Yes, lionfish and sea snakes are dangerous too. If I want to keep from being eaten, I got to make myself look like creatures that no one wants to eat. Why don't you change into something with a thick shell, like a crab or a clam or something else? <gasps> Shelly. <gasps> Shelly? You mean like your cousin Shelly who was in that Will Smith movie? No! What is it with you and my cousins? Well, I can only change my body to look like something. I can't actually grow a shell. But you know I have a cousin named Shelly. What? Are you pulling my tentacle? No, I am not. It's true. And she loves Will Smith movies, especially Men in Black. Well, who doesn't love the MIB? <laughs> you know, and once, Shelly actually had her memory erased. Wow. I know. But it turns out she just ate a bad crab. I do take issue with the film's reinforcement of negative stereotypes of intergalactic alien travelers. <laughs> yes, but you know the new one... Uh-oh. What is it? Hey, uh, where did all the little fin wiggle things go? We have a problem, friends. Uh, uh, problem? problem? Look, over there. That's our problem. You mean the toothy guy with the pointy nose and the big fin? That's a great white shark. So many teeth! Such an intense smile! <laughs> we should definitely go say hi! No! 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 no, no. <laughs> we need to hide. But Mosey, I'm being just like you. We need to relax and have fun. That pointy face tooth factory with a fin is definitely fun. Look at it smiling with all those teeth. Hi! I don't think it's smiling, Flip. What else do Earthlings do with teeth? Well, they brush them. Yes, and? And sometimes they hide them under their pillow where they're exchanged for by a celestial being. Yes, and... Well... Okay, Flip. Don't you get it? This is not fun and games. Uh -huh. Now stay here. Oh, sorry. We gotta be really still. Oh, Rosie. I think you're making this way too big of a deal. I'm sure he... Is this a friendly face? Oh, I don't know about that. Hey there, buddy. What are you doing? See? Look at him over there with that thin lip fin. said that, I want you to be you. Huh? In fact, right now, I really need you to be like you. <sighs> we need to think our way out of this before we get toothed into oblivion. Well, then, we need to think about what we've learned. What would the Earthling do in this situation? What would the Flip, Earthling do don't wander off! Now come here! That thing has teeth that are as big as our heads! And we're in need of good strategy.
That was a close one. What do you think? How did we do? Honestly, Mosey, I thought your performance was a little over the top. You were good, though, Flip. I like that flower thing. Well, obviously it worked. But I would have thought I looked good enough to eat. <sighs> Thank you so much for helping us today, Earthling Octopus. We learned a great deal. Yeah. Who knew there was so much going on inside all of this salty liquid? It was a pleasure. Remember, you got to be yourself. Unless you're me. In which case, you also get to be like everybody else. Bye. And this concludes another edition of How to Be an Earthling. I think we learned a lot today. The Mimic Octopus is another amazing Earthling with six arms, two legs, two eyes, and a surprising number of impersonations. If you go under the water, be careful. You might not be seeing what you think you're seeing. I also learned how important it is to be true to yourself and not try too hard to be like someone else, especially Mosey. <laughs> and I learned how much I like you just as you are, Flipsy. Aw, thank you, Mosey. <laughs> and I got to be a real rock star. Get it? Rock. See what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> and I got to be an underwater flower. Yes, you did, Flip. You made a lovely sea lily. You mean like your cousin Lily from Alpha Centauri with the one big eye? No. What is it with you and my family? I don't think I resembled her at all. I was going for more of a kelp appearance. I know. I was talking about the sea creature, not my family. How many cousins do you have, anyway? Only about 900. Yeah. We're a small family. We like to keep to ourselves. Well, thank you, Earthlings, for joining us for this guide to how to be an Earthling. We hope we helped you discover something new about your incredible home planet. And if there's one thing we've discovered, is that your planet is big. You got land, sky, and ocean. Sure, that is way too much for any two intergalactic travel guides to cover on our own. So that is where you come in. We need your help. We can't do this on our own. I need me time. What Mosey is trying to say is that we need your contributions to our Earth Guide. If you happen to notice or learn something interesting or unusual about an Earthling species on your planet, please share it with us. <laughs> you can call us on the Selly Telly Ring a Ding Dingy at 1 833 4F L I P M O. That's 1 833 number 4 Flipmo. Write that down. Your field reports may be used on an upcoming Earthlings travel pod. That's one eight three three four Flipmo. Just like our names. Flip and Mosey's guide to how to be an Earthling is a Tinkercast original production, and all of the original songs you heard in this episode were written and arranged by Jason Rabinowitz and the Pop Ups. How to be an Earthling is written by Kenny Curtis and Thomas Van Kalken. Written by. What does that mean? That means they put the words in our mouths, Mosey. Oh, okay. <laughs> our masterminds of original sound design are Jason Rabinowitz, Ed Rosenberg III, Rob Hahn, with help from our senior production director, Jed Anderson. Our show is edited by Jacob Stein with additional production assistance from Henry Moskal. Our executive producers are Guy Raz, Mindy Thomas, and Meredith Halpern Ranzer. A tip of the tentacles to the rest of the Earthling team, including Jessica Bodie, Natasha Crandall, Anna Zagorski, Rebecca Leifer, and Joaquin Friedman. And special thanks to the actors you heard in this episode, <laughs> including Carly Shiraki. And our Earthling alter egos, Courtney Shaw. And David Ryan Smith. I ate him, and his voice comes through me. Grown-up Earthlings, you can follow us online at EarthlingPod. Our email address is hello at tinkercast.com. And finally, thanks to you for listening. Without you and your planet, we'd probably be in some remote galaxy screaming into the void of a black hole. But now we're screaming in your ears. Ha! And might I say, those are very oddly shaped appendages. Nosy! Until next time. Yeah. Oh.
Wonderful Pomoji Guide to How to Be an Earthling was made by Tinkercast and sent to you by Wondry.